All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith, in truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers, Shalom to you. They say to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this world word, it is because there is no light in them. So if you ain't speaking this word, you don't have no light. There's a lot of philosophies in the world, but all those philosophies comes to not. The scriptures prophesy that the wicked will win. The scriptures prophesy about people being rich and thinking that everything is going to be all good. But then at the end, they're going to pay for everything that they did. The scriptures prophesy about the men of the Lord being poor being needy, being the filth of the earth. But at the end, they're going to be in prosperity. So everything is in this book. So don't think that you got it made. Don't think that you know something. A lot of people are going to find out that. Matter of fact, let me just get this. Oops. It said, there is no wisdom, nor understanding, nor counsel against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because when you speak to people, especially on TikTok, man, it's a whole bunch of prophet wannabes on there, you know. But um, when, when they come to speaking about our power, they don't know nothing. And you got a lot of people questioning the Lord. You know, these days, you know, people don't have no respect. For Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But that's the way that he wanted. Because he's going to get his respect. In these days that's coming. You know. um, But a lot of people think that. Their way is the way. And what they believe. Because it makes them feel good. And it goes with. You know what they want to do. Oh it's the truth. The scriptures prophesy. All right. Prophecy is to say before. So the book was already written before you even came to the earth. And I'm talking about in, the, in, in this generation. So the Lord already foretold your steps. He said that his people was going to heap up to themselves, you know, teachers, you know, because you got itching ears. You want to hear something that cater to your life. That you don't have to change. But see, the wisdom, the understanding, and the counsel comes in the book. But you don't you don't like the book. You don't you don't like the words in the book. You you like what Jay Z say. You like what Lil Wayne say. Like whatever they say, that's the gospel. They don't got the light. You need the light, especially in a place of darkness. The light represents the truth. Everybody wants the truth. But see, here's the problem. As Paul said, have I became your enemy because I tell you the truth. So people want the truth. But as soon as they hear the truth and it don't fit their life. Oh, they become offended. You know, so um, a lot of people, Israelites, y'all going to find out the hard way because you think you know something. Especially the people who receive this word and think it's a game. It says, if any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know. See, as a imperfect creature, a mortal creature, you know, we are limited in our understanding. The Lord have given us enough to be saved, to direct our steps that we can be saved. He gave us enough wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we could be saved. But guess what? Oh, no, that ain't good enough. If the Lord don't come down here, stand in front of you and say, look at me, I'm real. You can't believe it. That's why the scripture says in Hebrews 11 and 6, it is impossible to please the Lord without faith. This is 
the part of the Lord's movie where he said the just shall live by their faith. And when he said that, he was not playing. When you read the stories of old, the Lord was more hands on with us. He haven't been that hands on. See, he give us signs. You see the men of the Lord on the highways and byways. You see that you see so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans coming together in the Holy Spirit, preaching the Bible with understanding. That's a miracle in it by itself. But that's a sign. You know, and also faith and grace is a gift. So the people who do believe it was given from Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. But we haven't seen I'm talking about physical miracles. See, right now we in the spiritual miracles like us. We are the spiritual miracle. The Holy Spirit, that's a form of spiritual power right there. Because we was blind, but now we see spiritually. But as the scripture says, there's nothing new under the sun. The same things that our forefathers did by healing people, you know, raising people from the dead. That's all going to happen again. Because it's nothing new under the sun. So you're going to see some things and you're going to be amazed. But going back to if any man think that he know of anything, he know of nothing yet as he ought to know. See, you're limited. But see, we have the top knowledge on earth. But the reason that we're uh, limited is because of this. For all things cannot be in man because the son of man is not immortal. So you have people walking this earth acting like they already this. You got the wicked. Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white people since 1681. The devil that the Bible speak of, the Edomites. They talking about immortality. But guess what their form of immortality is? See, you're going to die. You're going to get buried in all of that stuff. Talk about if his world will last. But he said that he could download your consciousness into a robot. That's his form of immortality, which is not immortality. <laughs> okay? Because number one, he don't got control over his spirit. And your conscious is your spirit. All right? But the scripture said that he will boast of his heart desires. So he's speaking real proudly. The, uh, the pride of his heart have deceived him. And the things that he's speaking, it ain't even going to come to pass. The only thing that he's going to do. He's going to be able to microchip people because it's in the scriptures. That's the test of the Lord. That's the temptation that's going to come upon all the earth. But he said, if we keep the word of his patience, we will be delivered out of it. So, you know, these things is coming to pass, which shows you that there is no counsel, nor wisdom, nor understanding above the Lord. Why you think you know something? Because guess what? When the microchip do come to pass, what the hell are you going to say? I know what you're going to do. You're going to take it and you're going to be destroyed. You're going to have to meet the Lord face to face. Revelation 14, 9 through 11, it talks about if you take it, you're going to be tormented in the presence of the lamb, which is Yahweh Shai and the holy angels and their smoke ascended up forever and ever. So, which means a very long time. So you don't know anything and, and we've been blessed. All right. There is no wisdom, nor counsel, nor understanding about the highest. We have the top knowledge on the earth. And in due time, it will reveal itself. I'm talking about the manifest of the men that the Lord have chosen, the elect, which I hope to be a part of. See, while the world is going to be in turmoil, the Lord said he's going to a matter of fact, in Isaiah 13 and 12, it said that he's going to make a man more precious than fine gold. All right. The golden wedge of Ophir, which is the best gold you can get. So in that day, a man of the Lord is going to be precious. So while the women of the world, probably even your damn wife, still, you know, gawking and eyeing these celebrities because they're handsome in their eyes or sexy in their eyes and because they got some status and some money in this world. They going to perish. They ain't going to be a help in the world to come. The men of the Lord is going to be the prize. So the way that the Lord is going to do things, he's going to turn things right side up. And that's when you're going to find out that, damn, my whole life is a lie. See, if you don't have the light, 
to the law and to the testimony of any man speak not according to this word is because there's no light in them. The first scripture that I read. That's what you're going to find out. All the philosophies that you believe in, all this, all the money, the uh, going to school, you know, you know, living after your own heart, all philosophies that you believed in. You'll be like, damn, I've been living a lie my whole life. So, um. It's the Lord's way or no way. Matter of fact, let me get this first. That's what people are going to find out. It said, Yahweh shall say unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto me, unto the Father, but by me. All right. So the Father is the king. All right. He's the king. He's the number one power. Yahweh Shah is the number two power. We got to go through him. He's our mediator. So you know, you living your whole life thinking that you God. I'm talking about the rich of our people, the rich of this world. You know, the, the wicked, they think that they God. They think that they the most high because the Lord haven't dealt with them yet. Because we all must come to the judgment seat, but the Lord is long suffering. So going back to this, it says, seek not out things that are too hard for you. Neither search the things that are above your strength. All right. Because you got people who study many books. In Ecclesiastes 12 and 12, it said, um, many, uh, many books wearies the soul, you know, many studies because the Lord have given us a book that prophesied from the beginning to the end. This is the only book that you need, but you got people going into all kind of books and all kind of philosophies. And, and then you got, um, Esau, Edom. he, he speaks like he knows something. He do know a lot, but he don't know nothing about the spirit world. He don't know nothing about under the earth, anything like that. You know, that's why he um he's still studying things to this day. That's why he be uh taking baby fetuses, you know, when women abort their babies and stuff, trying to see how the baby in the womb grow. You know, like they 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 still studying things. They trying to see how a seed grow into a big ass tree. They don't know these things. Scripture says in Ecclesi um no wisdom of Solomon nine and sixteen. You know. Hardly we know things on earth, even with much, you know, study, much searching. Limited, man. So the Lord have given us instruction. He given us the word. He told us what to do, what not to do. But our, our people said, nope, we will not hearken. I want to do what I want to do. So we're going to see how that end up for you. So it says, but what is commanding you? What is commanding you is this word. Think thereupon with reverence. For it is not evil for you to see with your eyes the things that are secret, like the spirit world, how the Lord, um, you know, look per se. You know, he gave us a description. We know that he's a dark skinned man, things like that. You know, we don't know if he's tall, short. Now, we know Yahweh Shah. We talking about I'm talking about the Heavenly Father. You know what I'm saying? But um, but I'm just I'm just using examples right now. You know, like the Lord haven't showed himself in this life. So the Lord gave him the um, descriptions. Second Edris two say he was taller than all the rest, you know, so he's obviously tall. He's obviously a dark skinned man with an afro. With a beard, said the head and his hairs is white like wool. So he got a texture of a Negro hair. So-called Negro, you know, so the Lord said, don't seek out things that are too hard for you, but the scriptures. Because everything is in here. A Malachi is either, is either Isaiah 34 or 16 or Malachi 3 and 16 talks about how this book have no mate because no other book have prophecies. So it says, be not curious in unnecessary matters for more things are showed unto you than men understand like this word. We have a treasure. And the word cannot. Oh, matter of fact, John 14 and 17. So we have received the spirit of truth, which the world cannot receive. So we have more understanding than most men. So be content with the gift that we have. It's going to manifest pretty soon. So while you see the people winning, you know, this, this video really for the new, you for the newer audience. You see the you see the people winning right now. The Lord said that would be the case. Isaiah 26 and 10, it said, let favor be shown to the wicked. This is their world. This is their blessing. 
He also said in Lamentation 4, 21, 22, he said, rejoice, O daughter of Edom. Because that's why this is this is your last hurrah. This is your last time that you ever going to have any prosperity. And your prosperity is circling the dream before your eyes. Because the Lord's on his way. Scripture said for the vision is for an appointed time and at the end it shall speak. So it said, for many are deceived by their own vain opinion. And a lot of people got their own opinion. They think that they know the Lord. They always want to speak on something that they don't know nothing about. So many are deceived by their own vain opinion and evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. So at the end of the day, man, we've been blessed. And matter of fact, let me end it on this. Let me end it on this. <clears throat> and he said unto me, there is no judge above the most high and none that have understanding above the highest. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of the most high that is set before them. Yes, they do. And that's why you're going to be judged for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. As the scripture says, second, uh, address 15 and four. And it said for the most high have given straight commandment to such as came what they should do to live even as they came and what they should observe to avoid punishment. The Lord have given us directions. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against them and imagined vain things and deceived themselves by their wicked deeds. In 2 Thessalonians 2 and 10, it said, the deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they love not the love of the truth. So therefore the Lord have sent them strong delusions. 2 Thessalonians 2, 10 and 11. So, um, you know, so let me continue to read um, and deceive themselves by their wicked deeds and said of the most high. This is that he is not and knew not his ways. Matter of fact, you got even atheists of our people. That's how you know that we are in the wicked, the most wicked time that ever been on the earth. When you got Israelites, the most spiritual people on the earth talking about there ain't no God. That's the white man's book. Are you still believing that fairy tale? See? Esau have done a number on our people. You know, a lot of our people, hey, Esau did his job, man. But uh, that's that's why um, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah said in Isaiah 1 and 9, if it wasn't for a very small remnant, Israel would be at Sodom and Gomorrah. So the water for the elect. And it said, but his laws, but his law have they despised and denied his covenants in his statutes have they not been faithful and have not performed his works. You know, so this is the mindset of our people. And by having this mindset, you're going to die. I already quoted it. All the unfaithful should die in their unfaithfulness. So there is no counsel, no understanding, no wisdom above the Lord. And you're going to find out the hard way, his way or no way. All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. Hopefully this video is edifying. And Shalom.